There is some really cool news from Canoe, and I think this is actually going to happen. So the EV startup Canoe has made an agreement with Walmart to provide 4,500 of its electric commercial vehicle called the LDV as an electric delivery van. And in this video, I'm gonna let you know what I think about this LDV van design and also show you what Canoe is up to because they have some really cool plans for the future. More on that a little later in the video. I'm also gonna show you the early design sketches and what the canoe could have looked like before it went into production. So the lifestyle delivery vehicle LDV, which has been specifically modified in this case for Walmart for delivery purposes. And I'm gonna compare the regular van to the Walmart delivery van and show you the differences there. And the deal is part of Walmart's goal of achieving zero emission by 2040. So you have 250 miles of range, which I think could probably be enough for last mile delivery from a 80 kilowatt hour battery and it can carry up to 1,464 pounds of your Walmart stuff. So as I said, this LDV will only be used for last mile delivery. And that means that these are the vans that will deliver your packages right up to your door. You can apparently expect to start seeing these Walmart pods out on the roads right outside your house by next year if it goes according to plan which it rarely does in these kind of situations but i guess we can hope so let's jump into photoshop and let me show you the early development sketches of the canoe pod or the canoe ldv and this is interesting because this is official sketches from Canoe of how it could have looked like before they decided to go with this uh, design that they have now. So up here we have one pod design which has lacks this uh, the, the key graphic elements that we have in the Canoe right now, but it still looks pretty similar. We still have the pod-like design and we still have this gorgeous chamfers that I love in the Canoe intact in this sketch already. So this is a pretty cool looking concept. We also have the wheelbase as you can see with the wheels all the way out to the very corners of the design and this is what you can do because canoe is definitely I think canoe is doing a great job utilizing the EV platform it's literally a skateboard which on top you can put whatever form of uh, greenhouse you want and that's exactly what they're doing it keeps the cost down for sure and down here we have another concept which has more of a direction to it here we can clearly see that the front end is pointing this angle this is the front right here and we have some retro inspired designs i really like this design same thing here like like ionic 5 some nintendo 8-bit feeling vibes in this car and I really like the chamfer that we have at the bottom as well with this greenhouse that wraps around the entire car. But we don't really have the same chamfers that we have on the production version. Still looks pretty good. Down here we have another pod design. As you can see, we're starting to get a little bit more. Maybe you can call this identity in the front end because this would be a pretty uh, unique design for the LEDs in the front. I'm not sure where the headlights would be in this case but it's clearly a very simplistic design, very product designy. And here you can clearly see this chamfer that I'm gonna show you how it turned out in the production. Last but not least, we have this design here and now we're definitely starting to see the uh, graphic details that actually went into the production car. Or I don't know if they have a production car yet. I think they're all prototypes, but if they're gonna start delivering to Walmart by next year, they kinda need to have a production version ready by now, I would guess. Yes, I do like that the, that the graphics, they stick out from this chamfer and looks really cool and kind of cuts off the chamfer and cuts off this very, I wouldn't say bland design, but very simplistic design. In general, I'm just a huge fan of, of what Canoe is doing at the moment because I think they're taking advantage of the uh, EV philosophy of designing cars in the best way possible by using this uh, platform that they have. So this is the, the van that they're currently going to put into production. The thing is, when I look at this, when I first saw this and I saw the truck, by the way, the truck is um, the same platform as the van, but it just has the, the truck bed in the rear end. And it also has some of the best marketing images I've ever seen from a company. When I look at those images for, for the truck marketing, uh, the PR team created for the truck, I just wanna go out and buy a canoe and go out camping when I saw those pictures. The only issue that I had when I first read about the truck is that they decided to have a 200 mile range. So if we're gonna go camping, if we're gonna go 
exploring, maybe even overlanding. You want more range than 200 miles, but at the same time, they decided to go with 500 plus horsepower. So I thought that was a little bit of a weird decision. Maybe tone, dial down the horsepower and up the range a bit more because I think that's what people would like to have. Maybe 300 horsepower in pickup and 250, 280 mile range would be more beneficial to what it's supposed to be doing. That's just my opinion. But here we have this gorgeous chamfer going around the entire car and I really like this design. It is it's a simple, clean design, but it still has a lot of identity in it, specifically with these graphic details. And this is what I've been talking about for so long now, is that companies, new EV companies, will do exactly this. They will focus on a very simple design, geometric de design when it comes to the body, but the graphics is what's going to create a identity for these brands. And I think Canoe is doing a fantastic job hammering in this identity because it is a brand new brand. And I wanna show you the lineup in just a second, some cool cars they have coming up. And they all have this same vibe, insane identity to, to their design. So here is the Walmart truck. And I honestly can't wait to see this cute little thing out on the roads. It looks so cool. This is one of these designs that I think uh, if you have a futuristic movie from like the 90s or something, this is the design that I would expect to see in that movie. And now we're there. We're in that era where these cars are actually becoming a reality. The only thing I would worry about here is the crash tests. I would love to see a crash test of this thing. You have the driver sitting pretty much in the same location. You, the driver is not sitting all the way up here. You have, I'm gonna show you the interior in a bit as well. So you have a, an open space in the interior here, but still crash testing this would be really interesting to see how that is going to go. Let's have a look at the interior just real quick before I show you the entire lineup and the future of Canoe and what they have in the pipeline. So this is the interior. I think the interior also a very unique design and you have this dashboard sitting all the way forward close to the windshield and you you yourself, you have your head back here. So you're gonna have a massive space in front of you with open space. Here you have storage space in the front end behind the steering wheel and you have this bar also creating a, I guess, sort of a dashboard or something like that. Very interesting design by Canoe. Here you can see the, the uh, uh, this rear passenger or the seating for the the consumer version of the van and I think it looks sweet inside here as well because we have I think this could be probably all modular so you can design this as you like you can have a park bench right there you can even fit your big surfboard in there it has a lot of opportunity to create something unique and something personal if you have all these things inside and well, another thing from a business standpoint, I think this is a really good idea because it means that Canoe can upsell you on all kinds of things that you can put in the interior. Maybe proper rear seats, if you want a rear bench, if you want both, you can buy them for your van. And I think it's a good business solution specifically for a startup that needs to have the revenue coming in. Let's have a look at the lineup here. So this is the current lineup that, that we're aware of that's going into production. You have the, the van right here, that you have this beautiful, cute, little pickup which I absolutely love. You can see that it sits even higher than the van here and it has a little bit more of a beefier um, wheel arches and I think it looks absolutely fantastic. You can have a tent up here, you can have a tent here, whatever you want to do. You also have seating for I believe four passengers inside and this is not a big vehicle but it still looks like it's bigger than it is and I can't wait to see the truck out on the streets. I do wish they create a version with more range and less power because 200 miles for an adventure vehicle is just not enough, at least not for me. And then we have this, the super edgy and commercial van for Canoe. I believe this still keeps the same platform as we have on the other two vehicles. However, the design is now more edgy to be able to carry more stuff, but it still has the same identity in the front end as Canoe. There's no mistaking this for anything else than a Canoe. And I think this is one of the brands that are doing this the best when it comes to startup EVs, hammering in a brand new design identity for an entire your brand. This is what they have in the pipeline. So look at this thing right here. We have a sedan coming up and I'm going to show you a better picture of this in just a minute. And then we have the pickup here. We have the van that I showed you and then it looks like an even bigger van 
out here in the very end. And this is the skateboard that I was talking about that all of these cars or vehicles are based on. You can build whatever you want on top of this, which I think is an absolutely fantastic solution that only can only be made with EVs and that I think is the big benefit of uh, building EVs these days. So here we have the sedan in a more of a clear picture. You can see just how cool it looks. It still looks like the van, but it looks like the van has been kind of squished. And we still have the A pillar stretching all the way forward to the very front end. And look at where there is zero hood here. It's like they took the bean design and like Mercedes trying to almost hide the bean design by creating a little bit of a hood. Canoe said, we're not going to do that. We're just going to create a simple bean design and not be ashamed of it. And I think that works out a lot better than trying to make a mix of old school, mix it with this bean design. It just doesn't turn out like a good looking design in my opinion like the mercedes EQ, e, e, eqe and eqs for example this is unapologetically a bean shape with the same identity in the front end like we have on all other canoe vehicles so i'm happy that uh, canoe was able to uh, crawl out of their little hole that they were in they were very close to bankruptcy and then walmart came in and uh, kind of saved the company, I would say, with these, with these 4,500 orders for the electric delivery van. And their stock price jumped by double on, I think it was July 12th when that deal was announced. Great job by Canoe, and I honestly cannot wait to start seeing these cars out on the streets because I think they look so cool and so futuristic. Let me know what you think about Canoe in general in the comments below. Which one of these would you prefer? Do you prefer the van, the pickup, or the sedan? Personally, I'm gonna have to go with the awesome looking pickup truck. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.